In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a professional business email address and then connect it within system.io. Why is this important? Because not only does it look more professional, but it also helps you actually land in inboxes and not in the spam. And it builds trust with your potential clients. So if you're new here, my name is Rihanna. I help small business owners just like you to set up simple systems so that you can save time, attract more clients and grow with ease. So if you're ready, let's go. So the first question is, why do we need a professional business email address? Well, not only because it looks professional, I mean, you at yourbrand.com instead of at gmail.com or at yahoo.com, but it also helps your emails to avoid spam folders and it builds trust with your subscribers and customers that you're a, a real business, right? Now, the other thing is that system.io requires a professional email address to be able to send emails. So if we go to the account here, we click on emails, what it wants you to do is add a domain name. So this is your business domain name and add an email address that is connected to your domain name. Now, when you buy a domain name, you can buy it through GoDaddy, for example, or through Google, or there are other platforms as well that doesn't automatically give you an email address. And if they do, often they charge quite a lot for it. That's my experience at least. Now you need to have a professional email address. It doesn't have to be through the same place where you buy your domain name. Of course, those companies would rather you do that, but there are other platforms like Namecheap, which is one of my favorite ones because it's literally cheap. <laughs> you can create a professional business email address based on your domain name that is hosted somewhere else. And I want to show you how to do that before we're going to be able to connect it to system.io so that you can start sending emails. So on Namecheap, it's very simple. They have three different packages. When I set it up for a client, I usually buy them this package because it just has one mailbox and this is more than enough for my clients. You see a code here, copy this one and you click on get starter because the code is not automatically added to the, um, to the order. Now you have three options, purchase a new domain. If you don't have a domain yet, this is a perfect place to buy a domain. Use a domain I own with Namecheap or use a domain I own from another register. For example, a lot of my clients, they have bought their domain on GoDaddy. They don't have a professional email address yet. And then through this uh, setup, I connect them with uh, the combination with GoDaddy with Namecheap. Now you connect, you set up your username. It's all very straightforward. I want to show you what it looks like after you signed up. So you paid for your subscription. Don't forget to add the, the discount code that they offer. And then you're going to come at this page. And now you see, I have already a mailbox. You cannot set up a mailbox until it is connected. So what you need to do is go to your domain register account. So for example, GoDaddy, and you need to add these records to the account. And this is very simple. Let me show you that too. So on my account for this domain name, for example, you see several records below. I'm not going to show everything for privacy reasons, but what you can do is you add a new register and you can see here exactly the things that it's asking was what was written here. So you have the add, the MX, the 10 and this. So you start with record type. So that would be MX. Then it's asking for the name. That is the ad. Then it's asking for the priority, which is 10. And then it's asking for the value. That is this one. And this one you can keep on one uh, on 30 minutes on half an hour. And then you click on save and you do that with all the three records from your email. And then you usually have to wait. It says four hours in a couple of hours. It's usually done. Once it's done, it's going to tell you that, that it's active. And then you can go down and you can create your mailbox. So in this case, I made an info ad. It can be a hello ad. It can be your first name here. And once you have all of this set up, now your email is active and it's going to give you, um, it's going to tell you private email.com. This is where you can log in to your email box. And then what I've done, for example, because I love on my phone to have all my emails together, 
I just uh, redirect it to my phone so I can open everything without entering all different email mailboxes. Um, this is on an iPhone. I don't know if that's possible on Android as well. But then everything is done. We're going to go back to system.io and you're going to make sure that you add here your domain name from the URL that you have. Then you're going to click to confirm your email address. You add the email address that you just created. And now this one wants to be verified. It's not going to verify it by itself. Again, it needs the DNS settings. So we're going to click on this one. And now you're going to have settings here that if you go to your um, domain register registration, you do exactly the same as what you've done for your email address. You literally, this is the record type, you literally copy paste all this information in the DNS records. Now, now, if you filled it in and then after 24 hours, it still says pending, I would highly recommend you to send an email to support, send a copy immediately of all your DNS records, of all the information that you filled in so they can see, and they usually quickly within a couple of hours, they respond and they say, oh, you added a dot too much, or this record is not correct. And then once you change that, it's done like very, very fast. Usually for me, it takes like two to three hours and then from it's from pending to verified. So that's just why I'm saying like, wait at least 24 hours. Sometimes it's a bit slower, but if it's not verified in 24 hours, there is a mistake in the records that you put in into your domain registration uh, platform. So that's it. Then once it's verified, now you're able to send emails. So what you want to set up here is your email address. This is where the emails are going to come from, your name. And this is an email address for testing. I love this one because when you set up an email, you can test it. I always check on the desktop version and the mobile version. And a lot of times I pick out a couple of mistakes or some, some design issues. And I'm going to talk about all of that in the, uh, the video that I'm going to record for the, for the newsletters and for the email marketing. But this is what you want to have set up and then at the end, um, you can have an unsubscribe. I always like to change this into stop sending me tips about whatever your topic is, sleep, for example, or help. And it's just a, a, a more funny way to unsubscribe. And that's it. Now you're able to send email addresses uh, and your account is completely active. That's it. Now you've set up a professional business email address in system.io so you can start reaching out to your potential clients. If this tutorial helped you, please give some thumbs up and hit subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any upcoming tutorials. And then next, click on the link below this video because I created a document that has all the links through all the videos, all the tutorials that I've created about system.io in one place. And it makes it very easy to just troubleshoot whenever you have an issue to say, okay, I want to watch this specific video instead of trying to go all over the place on YouTube. So I highly recommend you check the link below this video and download that document. And then if you have any other questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm always happy to help.